Hey guys. We are almost charged here. 51.3 volts. And you can see it, we're covering 48.9, it was 48.7 when we first stopped. There we just reached 49 volts. The first thing we're going to want to do is attach our feet to the uh, solar panels. And you can order these brackets if they don't come with your solar panel. A lot of them don't, unless it's a bundled kit. In my case, these ones did not come with the feet. It was a better deal to actually buy them separate. But one thing I will caution on is if you are buying them separate, try to match the brand up. I've got Reynolds G panels, and I went with a different brand brackets because I thought they were all the same. And it turns out they're very close, but the bolt holes don't quite line up. The offset's just a little bit different. And all of these, as far as I'm aware of, will come with their own mounting hardware. They come with spring washers. I'm gonna go ahead and install some thread locker as well because we're on a mobile golf cart there's gonna be a lot of rattling and bouncing around we really want to make sure these don't loosen up over time installation is very easy you want to make sure that your tabs are down and put one on each corner if your holes don't quite line up it's very easy to drill um, this is aluminum frame it drills very easy I find that these step drills work great for these kind of applications so go ahead and start your hole and once the hole gets started flip your bracket underneath That'll just act as a guard so that you don't accidentally punch into your panel. Continue drilling it out until you reach the right size. Right there. Place our bolt in from underneath. Place our bracket. Again, tab ears down. And we're going to go flat washer, spring washer. We're going to put a dab of Loctite onto the threads and then follow it up with the nut. And tighten it down. And there it is, that one's done. We're gonna repeat this for all four corners. Now in the middle, where the two tabs are in the center of the panels, I've stacked them. In my case, the holes did not line up like this. Finish your hole to size. Once we get the corner brackets installed on all of our panels, in our case we're using two of the Renogy 100 watts panels, go ahead and lay them out the way you want to arrange them on top of the golf cart, and we're going to take some measurements. We want to know, we're more interested in where the brackets are dimension-wise. If you're using the same panels that I am, outside to outside is 46 inches. inches. Now we're going to be setting up a, a unistrut grid on the top of our golf cart. So this is a piece of unistrut and the unistrut works with a sliding system where you can install one of these spring-loaded 
backers that you can slide anywhere you want inside that channel and then when you tighten down it will lock against the profile and makes a very strong solid connection. It's also very adjustable. So we're going to mount two of these on the roof of our golf cart lengthwise uh, or rather they're going to go crosswise, one in the front, one in the back. And we're going to mount the panels to this and we're going to have an attachment on either outside corner one in the middle that's going to attach both tabs at the same time. We're going to use a bolt with a flat washer. That's going to go through our unistrut. Then it's going to go through our spacer. And then after we come through the roof, we're going to follow that up with another flat washer. And then finally a nylock nut. And the reason we want to use the nylon insert lock nut for the vibration, these hold up really well and they won't generally come loose over time. mounted loosely to the golf cart. It has a little bit of gift to it so we can make our final adjustments. So we're going to go ahead and take our first panel. And I'm going to set mine up so that the cords are towards the front of the cart. Uh, I'm probably going to have my charge controller in the front of the cart so it makes sense to have the wiring come down the front corner. We're also going to take our backing plates and we're going to slide those into the channel. Once everything is pretty close, we can go ahead and start to position your unistrut nuts closer to where the panel is. We're going to go ahead and do that for all four corners and the center point. Everything is loose. We're going to double check our final position. Get everything as centered up as nicely as we can, which looks good. And then we're going to start by tightening the center ones first. I already put Loctite on these center ones because I knew I was almost ready to go and it wouldn't have had time to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and crank our middle points tight. And then we're going to do our corners. So that locks our panels down to our unistrut, and as you can see, it's pretty rigid already. But we actually haven't even tightened our unistrut bolts to the roof yet. Um, they're held rigidly in place by the panels, so they're now conforming to the shape of the panels, and we're going to attach that structure to the roof by tightening these up. Okay, our panels are now fully finished and attached.